up, y'all? Welcome back. You're in the house with Lewis Fix It. Today, we're gonna go back to this right here. This Doofin, Surpass Doofin. Uh, I did a review on it. It worked so good. I got it on the crate and it worked so good. I'm definitely putting on the on the felony. I got to. I got to. So today I'm just going to show you guys how to put it on. Pretty simple. Uh, let me get the body off. First thing you're going to need to put this on, you need a torch lighter. If you don't have a torch lighter, please invest into a torch lighter. Stop stripping your screw screws, please. This is so important, right? I'll tell you why. Next thing you're gonna need is a 2.5 millimeter, I mean, two point, yeah, 2.5 millimeter and a 2.0 millimeter. That's to get your screws out. I believe that's all you're gonna need. Pretty simple. Let me get this out of my way so I can be more active. All right, so it's pretty simple. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get all my connect, all my wires taken apart. Let's get this out the way. Um, fan, pull that out. That fan is going on probably the mega right now. Get all my wires out the way. Let it be open, nice and pretty for you guys. First thing you're gonna wanna do, these two screws right here holding a motor in. You're gonna take these two screws, take your torch lighter, heat them up. Not that much, just give them enough where it heats the screw lock. It heats that up just enough just to pop it off. Ah, there we go. Once you hear that click and she's moving, you're good to go. Mine wasn't on that tight because I played with my motor a couple days ago. It was tight, but it wasn't crazy. Slide your motor out. That simple. Okay, if it was just a matter of me putting a new motor on, all I would have to do is get the motor off. This motor snaps on. You don't have to do no extra. It just snaps on. But for this motor to come off, I will have to get this piece off of here. So I got to take off my pinion gear. Is it? Yes. I got to take off my pinion gear. I got to take off this piece from my motor so I can slide this piece off. Honestly, I think I could do it another way, but I don't see how I could get this popped off of there. I don't see how I could do that. So. I'm here to show you guys how to get all your screws out of there anyway. So for you to get your pinion gear out, you see that little slot right there? You turn where you can see your screw in that slot right there. You get inside there, first thing you wanna do is heat your screw up while it's inside there. Give it a little heat, just a little bit, not that much. You don't wanna burn the whole thing or turn it red. Then you, Pop off. Hear that little pop? Popped off. Get you some tweezers. Get you some tweezers. Don't do it over a carpet or something like that because you will lose this little piece. You got this little piece right here that's holding, that's blocking from you to a little pin that's blocking from you to getting everything off. Your pinion gear off. Take your little tweezers. And uh oh, she bouncing. I heard him. Oh, almost lost that baby there. You pop that little piece off and your pinion gear slides right out. No problem. Now you take your lighter one more time. You got two screws here, one on both sides. Got to get those two screws out of there. Take your lighter, heat those two up. a little heat oh this one requires the 2.5 millimeter get it all the way inside there ah you hear that one little click and she is out of there 
And they're pretty tight, though. Can't lie about that. Okay, now get the other side. You get an end. Pretty good. Ah, there we go. See, when you heat it up, it don't melt the full everything that's inside there. Oh, get that. It don't melt everything that's inside there, but it heats it up just enough where it'll pop off. Here we go. Now you take your fan, slide your fan right on out of there. Oh, she's in very, very tight. Can't believe how tight this thing is. All right, so I put some straps. There's some straps on my wire. I gotta cut those off. Get my scissors. Cut these straps off to release my wire. That's good to have straps on there though. I didn't think about doing that on my other cars. Honestly, it came from armor like this. Okay. Then, ah, she's on there tight. Slide off. When she's released, that's everything. And that's the clear motor. She's out. So what you want to do, you want to clean up. See if you can get some of that, that screw lock inside there out of there. You don't want no, nothing inside there. Get as much as you can. If you have a, a Q-tip, dig inside there with a Q-tip. If you just got a toothpick, Just got a toothpick, you could go inside there with a toothpick, clean whatever you could get with the toothpick out of there. The Q-tip will do a lot more better. Just don't you just don't want no residue inside there when you put your new screw inside there. You don't want to strip these screws. You still got another two, two, three, four. You got two screws. And then you got two small ones. If you strip the bigger ones, you could put two small screws inside there. So you got one, two, three, four chances to mess up your screws inside of your motor before you gotta buy a new motor because you mess your screws up inside there. And I'd be bad to mess up your motor just because, you know, you didn't clean your screw hole properly before you put the screw back inside there. So what I'm doing right now is trying to get all, all my um, parts cleaned off pretty good. Where I gotta screw everything back in, get all that cleaned off pretty good. Take your screws, clean your screws pretty good. You know, like I said, you don't want to put your screw in and out. You try to clean as much as that screw lock off of the screws before you put more on and screw it in. You don't want to cake it up too much. All right, so for your new motor, take your new motor and... I'm going to snap it on, show you how it goes on, and it's on tight. Ooh, I don't want to scratch up my motor, but you see how tight it is. It actually would scratch up the motor if I tried to spin it. So we're going to put this back together, put it back on. Put it back together, put it back on. All you got to do is do it the opposite of what I just showed you how to get it off. Put these back on, put these back in. Uh, you got to see how you want to line it up. So you will put this piece back inside of your car and you will adjust your motor where you want to put your motor to screw it back in inside your car. Or you can look where the screw lock was 
you know this piece was on the top so it's pretty much gonna go like this and you put everything back together and put all my screws back in let you see the finish okay so now I got everything back on everything is good to go I wouldn't run them for a couple probably like a um, 24 hours because I don't want my screw locks to loosen up before they actually cure uh, as you can see uh, I had to add some shrink wrap onto the I mean some shrink some wire shrink onto this wire where I put my connector at for the fan everything came out beautiful um, she's sitting on pretty tight let's see how she sound we already know how she sound from when I had her on the Kraken but we're gonna do it again just to have some fun so she's sounding good Woo. the sound on these fans the power coming from off these fans is ridiculous man I'm loving it so that was a success um, these fans I'm going to give them another two thumbs up, man. I love them. All right, that's a good one. Come back. I'm going to take this fan right here. I'm going to throw on the Mega. I'm going to take this fan. I just got off this one. I'm going to put it on the Mega. I got a force on the Mega. I'm going to show you how to take the Mega apart, put a fan on her. Come back. I don't usually say this in my videos, but like, subscribe. Keep up with me, man. Keep up with me. I'm going to keep having these videos coming at y'all. All right, man. I'm out.